name of Jesus, your robo kusata. Ia dalala rabasata yari. I go so to ria bakaye. I on dolodo robo shakata ye ya satala bakai. I o robo kusi ya shata rabasata kai. I o robo kusi ya shata la 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 basata. I o robo saki ye ya dalala raba ye ya shata. I o robo kusi ya shoria kasata kai ye. We trust in you, Father. I o robo kusata. We surrender all to you today in the name of Jesus. I o robo kusata kai. We give up control of ourselves to you in the name of Jesus. We trust in you in the name of Jesus. Siki oria basatai, araba kaye ya shatala bakaye, iyo rosi o kotolo boko shikie, iyo si ondo roye ya sharaba siki o tolo roso, iya da 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 basha kaye ya siki e ya raba satai, iyo roboko ye ya shiki o roso toye. We surrender to you today in the name of Jesus. Iyo roko satai, iyo roboko si ya shatata ye, iyo raba kaye ya shatari ya satai, iyo roboko si ya shahaye. I o roso so ya talala rebeki ya shatai. I o ho robo kosi ya kataye. We give ourselves to you in the name of Jesus. Cleanse us from every unrighteousness, Lord God. I ki o robo kosataye. Everything that is not of you, Lord God. I o robo koshatala bakaye ya ria basatai. We trust in you, Lord Jesus, with every care. I o robo kosi ya sharabaye. Alabakaya ria si ya shatari ya bakaye. I <laughs> Iyo ro 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 bo si ya kata ye ya shiki ye. Iyo ro bo si yo ro bo so to ri ka sha ka ye ya sa ta. Iyo ro bo si ya ta ta ri ya sha ka ye ya sa ta ta ye. Iyo ro si ki ye ya sha ta ri ya ba sa ta. Iyo ro bo ko si ya la 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 ba si yo ri ya la 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 ba sa. I o ro so ko hi a kasha ye, I o so to ri a baka ye, a sa ta ri a baka ye, I o ro 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 bo shi ki a to 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 ri a baka ye, I o ro bo ko sa ta. We receive your grace, Lord Jesus. I o ro bo ko sa ta. We receive your strength today in the name of Jesus. I o ro bo ko sa ta ka. I ko ro sa sa ta ta ra sha ka ye. We lose your perfect will in this service in the name of Jesus. That you would draw the hungry in the name of Jesus. Iki o ria bakasata, i o rodo do ria bakaye ya shiko ria bosoto, i a da 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 ba shiki a la 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 da 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 ya sata ta ra basata. I lose Lord blind eyes to be open today in the name of Jesus. Iki o ria bashata ye, i o ra basata ye ya ria bakaye, i o ro bo shiki ye ya ra basaka. We lose your rhema to flow through us today in the name of Jesus. Your words, Lord God, your truth in the name of Jesus. We lose your will to be done in this service in the name of Jesus. We lose your love, Lord God, to flow in this place in the name of Jesus, to be experienced by every person, Lord God. 
We lose your sensitivity, Lord, upon your body in the name of Jesus to be led by your spirit. We bind every distraction, Lord God, that would hinder your will in the name of Jesus. We lose your boldness in the name of Jesus to flow through your body. We lose the drawing of your spirit in the name of Jesus upon every person that you have planned to be in this service today. In the name of Jesus, we lose your truth to draw them. We lose your love to draw them in the name of Jesus. Have your way in this service in the name of Jesus. Let your will be done in the name of Jesus. Every part of the service, Lord, we surrender to you in the name of Jesus. Let your peace be upon every person in this place, Lord God. We lose their eyes to be open to your truth in the name of Jesus. We come against every spirit of false doctrine off of their minds, Lord God, off of their heart in the name of Jesus. Let their eyes see your truth in the name of Jesus. Let their ears hear and understand your truth in the name of Jesus. Let there be clarity in the name of Jesus. We bind every confusion of the enemy off of them in the name of Jesus. Every conflicting voice in the name of Jesus. We lose your love, Lord God, your conviction in the name of Jesus upon the hungry and the thirsty that you are drawing. He 
Let your spirit lead us, Lord. We receive your grace, Lord God, your sensitivity today in the name of Jesus. He we lose your will to be done in this place. We lose your boldness, Lord God, to flow through your body in the name of Jesus. We lose your authority to flow through your body in the name of Jesus. We lose your aim to flow through your body today in the name of Jesus. Speak through us, Lord, your truth. We come against every lie of the enemy in the name of Jesus. We bind every lie of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Off of your body, Lord God. Off of the souls that you are drawing in the name of Jesus. And we lose your truth upon them in the name of Jesus. That their eyes would be open, Lord God. We bind every confusion off of their minds in the name of Jesus. Let the light of your gospel shine upon them in the name of Jesus. He <laughs> Let your conviction be upon us, Lord God. Convict us, Lord Jesus. Convict us, Lord Jesus. 
Hiorobo sikashi koto toria sataye ya ria bakaye. Hiorria shakaye ya satai. Hiorobo si ashashakata toria sataye ya ria basatai. Let your grace be upon your body today in the name of Jesus. Hiorobo kosiki o shatai. Hiorosiashatariabakaye, <laughs> He a lo 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 ba si ki e ya ra ba si ya ra ba sa ta. He a ra ba ye ya si ha ra ba si ya ra ba ye. He a ra ba si ya ra ba ha ye 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 ya ri ya sa ta. He a lo 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 ba si ya ri ya ba ka ye ya si ki ya ra ba sa ta. He ya ra da 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 wa si ki ya ri ya sa ta ya si ki ya ya ri ya sa ta. Ye ya ra ye ya sha ra sa ye ya ha ra ba sa ta. Ye ya ro ro ri ha sa ha ya sha ye ya ha sa ha. Ye ya ri ya si ki ye ya ra sa ta ye ya si ki ya sha ta. Ye ro bo si ka ye ya sha ta ye ya sa ta. Nothing is too hard for you in the name of Jesus. Ye ya ra ba ka ye ya sha ta. We believing Lord Jesus. Si ki ya ra ba si ya ta la ba ka. Ye ya ro si ka ye ye ya sha ta la ye. He or a rod or a rod of a sick or a rod 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 of a shiki or rabba sataye. He or robo sikaye a shataye. He or lobo sikaye. We worship you, Jesus. See a rabba sataye. We thank you, Lord Jesus. See a rabba siki or a la 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 ba satai. He or ria bakaye a shatala bakai. He a rabba shiki a harabba siki a shatai. He a ria bakaye, a ria basi, a ria bakaye. He a lo 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 basi, a ria bahaya shatai. You are worthy, Jesus. He a ria satala bakaye. He a da 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 bashiki, a ria da 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 bashai. He a sataye, a sataye, a rabakaye, a shataye. Who ria bakaye, a shi o su ria baye. Hararara ya shika ha, hararara ya shika ha ye ya shiki or raba satai. He or ria ba shika ha ye ya shiki ye ya raba satai. He or robo si or rosi ka ye ya shatai. Let your faith be upon your body today in the name of Jesus. He or robo satai. He or raba ha ye ya shiki ye ya raba satai. He or ya da 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 ba sha ye. He or ra ba ha ye ya sha ta. He or ya ba ka ye ya shi ki or ro bo sa ta. He ya da 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 ba shi or ya bo so ri o so ta ye. He or ya ra ba ha ye ya shi ki ye ya sa ta. Can we just continue to worship him and thank him in faith for the things he's gonna do today in the name of Jesus? Ye ya raba sa ye ya raba sa ta ye. Ye ya raba shi ki ye ya raba si ki ye ya raba sa ta. Hallelujah, Jesus. Ye ya raba si ya ra 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 ba sha. Hallelujah, Jesus. Ye ya raba sa ta ye. Ye ya raba sha ka ye ya sha ta ye ya raba sa ta. Ye ya lo 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 ba si ya ria ba sa ta. He a robo she a la 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 ya si ka ye a robo ye. He a robo si a shata ye a shata. Thank you for the faith you have given us, Lord God. Ria sata la ba si ki ye. He a la 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 ba si ki a ro si a la 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 ba si ki ye. He a robo si a shaka ya si ki ye a ra ba ye a so ro si. You are worthy, Lord Jesus. He a la 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 ye. He or Rosi a kaye a shatari a satai. He or Rosi a shataye a shokori a satai. 
Hio roshi kie ya shakaye ya shataye. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Ye your rio bosh hi your rio siki ye yasha sata ye your rio sata ye. Can we all stand in this place? If it's possible, can we all stand together today? Ye your robo kusata, ye your rasha kata sata, ye your rasata ye yasha sata ye. Before we sing. In your own words, can we just take a few moments to worship him in our own words, whether you want to speak in tongues, whether you want to worship him with the words God gives you. Can we just all together, before we sing, can we just worship him for the great things he's going to do today? You are mighty, Lord Jesus. You are all powerful. You are faithful to your people, to your body, Lord God. We believe you for great things in the name of Jesus. We worship you in the name of Jesus. You are worthy, Lord God. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good. Endure it forever. 
the time, all the time. You are good. Can we sing it again? You are good, all the time, all the time. You are good, you are good.
You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop. And even when, even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. Stop working, you never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. Stop. And even when, even when I don't see it, you're 
You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. And even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Even when, even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop.
leave you. He'll never forsake you. Oh, you might forsake him. You might even leave him. But he promises in this life he won't leave you. He won't neglect you. He won't forget about you. He makes a way. In the name of Jesus, Even when I don't feel it, in the name of Jesus, oh, he's a way maker, he's the source of every miracle, that is who you are, for if we believe, even if we have faith, as small as a grain of mustard seed, you can speak to that insurmountable thing in front of you, and it will move. It will move. Promise keep light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. That is who you are. We make in the name of Jesus. Promise keep light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. In the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Promise keep light in the dark. I'm you convinced that God is at work. That is who you are. I'm you convinced God's always at work. On behalf of his people. Lord, I'm convinced. Lord, I'm going to convince myself. I'm going to believe, oh Lord, that you're always at work. For he that keeps his people neither sleeps nor slumbers. Has thou not known, has thou not heard that the Lord the God, the heaven, the creator of heaven and earth sleepeth not, neither slumbers. He keeps his people. Yay, somebody begin to see it through the eye of faith. The answers you've been hoping for. The answers you're believing for. It's here. It's in your hand. It's in your grasp. Don't let go of it. Don't let go of it. You might have to shake it every once in a while just to remind yourself that it's in your hands. But it's there all the time. God has given it unto you. God has given unto you even the gift of faith to believe supernaturally for the promises of God, to believe supernaturally for the things that are yet to come. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why don't you grab it with your right hand and begin to shake it and begin to just rattle it and let it reverberate in the spirit world that the promises of God, they are yes and they are amen. Yeah. Masori, 
In the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord. There's promises here. God's reminding you of it. God's reminding you of your promise. God's reminding you of your own promises that you have heard from him. And it's given to you. He has given it to you. It is your promise. It is yours. Hallelujah. No man can take it unto you. The doors that God opens, no man can shut. His promises, they are yes, and they are amen. Faithful is he who promises. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the presence and in the peace of God that you feel, why don't you just seal your faith? Just seal your faith. Seal what God has done. And don't let go of it. Don't let your mind change about it. Be fully persuaded in your heart. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yorovoko randalamata lamahaya nakatala. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. In Jesus' name. Would you just pray in the Holy Ghost right now? Would you talk in tongues? Just talk in tongues and trust as you pray in tongues that God is praying through you. Things that you don't know. Things that you have no answers for. Things that are still a mystery, a secret in your life. Things that God hasn't quite revealed yet. It's not clear clear yet as you want it to be yet. You know it is there and you know it is real. And you know that God is the one that will make it happen. Is the author, the finisher of your faith. He started it. He's going to conclude it. He that began a good work in you shall perform it. He shall perform it. He that began a good work, he will finish it. He shall perform it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, he that began a good work, it's a good work. It's not a bad work. It's a good work. He that began a good work in you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. In the name of Jesus. Paul wrote to the church in Philippians chapter 1. He opens with a prayer, a greeting. Paul and Timotheo, the servants of Jesus Christ, to all the saints in Christ Jesus, which are at Philippi, with the bishops and deacons, grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace or empowerment be upon you. Would you lift up your hands? Would you receive the empowerment, the supernatural empowerment of God, which is called grace? The ability 
to do the grace of God. It shines upon all men, but it has to be received just like the gift of the Holy Ghost. Grace be unto you and peace. Would you receive the peace from God, your Father, the Creator of heaven and earth, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The blood that was shed for you, the precious blood of the Lamb, so you could have grace, empowerment, and you could have peace. Because he compares and, and tells you and sustains you as, his, uh, as your father. And from that you get a peace. The blood cleanses you, washes you, covers you. He said, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you always in every time of prayer of mine for all your for you all making requests with joy. Is that your prayer when you pray for somebody? You're, you're, it's filled with joy. It's filled with joy when you, when you pray for them. For your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now. Being confident of this very thing. That he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. He will perform it. He will perform it. He is faithful who has promised. Somebody just begin to believe right now that whatever God has started in your life, whatever you're involved in, whatever situation it might be in your family, in your work, in your health, God, who's the author of everything, that nothing happens by accident to you, that he will perform it. There is a reason, there is a purpose for everything that happens to a child of God. And in the midst of all of that, you could have the grace of God. And in the midst of it, you could have the peace of God that passes and surpasses and, and, and just better, superior than to understanding what happens. Faith doesn't have to understand. It simply just believes. In the name of Jesus, I don't know how it's going to happen. I'll believe it. I don't know how it's going to come about. I don't know the exact steps. But I believe the word. He that began a good work. It is a good work. It is a good work. In the name of Jesus, he began it. He's the author. And if he is the author... He's the finisher. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In that scripture, Romans 8, 28, that we all know and quote, and we know that all things work together for good. But that's not for everybody. It's often misquoted, usually quoted when things are not going well. But it applies to both. It actually applies to the end time. Because before you get to verse 28, it actually details that if you start in verse 11 or 10 rather and if Christ be in you the body is dead because of sin but the spirit is life because of righteousness if Christ be in you is he in you is he in you is he dwelling there? Is he there all the time? Or is he just visiting? Is he in you? Hallelujah. Do you feel him in the good and the bad times? Or does he check out depending on your mood? If Christ be in you, the body is dead. The, the desires of the body no longer really matters because it's, it's sinful. But the spirit in you is life because it gives you righteousness. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit 
that dwelleth in you. So the indwelling Spirit of God is what quickeneth you, saves you, motivates you, heals you, directs you. Therefore, brethren, we are not debtors. We don't owe anything to the flesh to live after the flesh. Because if you live after the flesh, you shall die. But if through the Spirit do mortify or you kill, you mortify the deeds of the body, then you'll live. So there's this always constant tug between what you want, what your flesh wants, your preferences, what you think should happen, what you think God should do for you. Dictating to God what He should do, and if He doesn't do it, you're just unimpressed by him. What does doesn't do what you want, what your expectation, he really becomes no longer your God. Because then you become your own God. And that's really the truth. Every time that happens, you kick him out of the throne and you climb up there as God. That's why he said in the next verse, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. The Spirit of God will never leave, lead us outside of the parameters of the Word of God. He'll never ever tell you that He is optional in your life. He'll never ever tell you to violate the Word of God. That's not happening. And if you think that, and worse, you rationalize, we rationalize our behavior, uh, it, it's, that's okay because, you know, the Lord will just understand. Well, that, then really you need to study the Bible. Would you just close your eyes right now? Would you examine your life where you're at this morning? And all the actions that you've done and how you've conducted your life and what is so very important to you. And just begin to ask the Lord, is this what you want? Is this how I should live, God? Is this acceptable unto you? Acceptable and perfect will of God. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. The things that you do, the things that we do. Do you ever consult Him? Do you ever ask Him, is this what you want today? Or do you just assume that He's just going to go along with you as God and not Him? For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. You see, when you decide, decide what you want to do and it falls apart, you know what happens? There's fear. It lets you know that you were not led by the Spirit of God. Or at least you didn't hear it quite clearly. Even the apostles were told by the Lord himself, let's go to the other side. And when there was a storm, they, they feared. They forgot the word that says, we're going to go to the other side. That will happen. It doesn't matter if you have a storm. It doesn't happen if you're inches from, from risking and being dead. But whatever he says, you could take faith and be fully persuaded. Because he is his word, it is impossible for him to lie. And when you live your life checking in all the time, not some of the time, then when, even when it falls apart, there's no fear. Because you're not in charge. There's trust there. There's love there. There's leading and guidance in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You really believe he's your father. 
Amen. Because we have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Amen. He's not a second person. Amen. He is the Almighty God because He is your Father. He's not just God. He's your Father. A caring, loving Father. The everlasting Father. And when you constantly live your life like that, then verse 16 applies, the Spirit itself beareth witness with our human spirit that we are sons of God. And then you begin to not think about your problems anymore. You don't begin to think about what you want anymore because the next verse, then if you're, because if you're children, then you have something to inherit with Jesus Christ. It transforms you from this dimension to another dimension. That's because we're, that's where we're heading. If children, then heirs, heirs of God, joint heirs with Jesus Christ. Amen. Somebody begin to think about your inheritance right now. Come on, begin to think about what you're about to receive. The inheritance that's waiting for you. You see, you're very privileged. You are of all men most blessed, not miserable. You are blessed beyond your comprehension that what awaits you, the inheritance that will come from your Father who owns all things. Even if we suffer with Him, we'll also be glorified together in any way one day. And then He just refocuses everything that your sufferings are so minute, so insignificant, because you magnified your sufferings, haven't you? Because every time we suffer, we magnify it. Right? We just magnify it. We forget we have a loving Father. We forget there's a purpose in our life. We forget that we're, we're inheriting something. And this is coming from a man, and we follow him, he said, as he follows Christ. A man who suffered greatly, shipwrecked, beaten, left for dead. He says, for I reckon or I consider, I, I, I ponder, I take inventory. That's what the word reckon means. I conclude, I suppose, I think taking everything into account, numbering them. It's where you get the accounting word reconciliation when you reconcile the accounts. So he's reconciling everything that's ever happened to him that the sufferings of the present time, they're not even worthy. They're cents. They don't even amount to a dollar. They're not worthy to be compared in value with the glory that shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestations of the sons of God. Verse 22, for we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together. There's birth pains. God's giving birth through his church. Did you know that? You're in the church, you're in the house of God, you're in the body of Christ, and you're being given birth to. I know it's not nine months. It's not even nine years. It's a long birthing process, it seemed like. Right? But the, the sooner you get to be about to be given birth to, the contractions, they happen in increasing regularity. And you know what contractions are? They're painful. A contraction squeezes the baby out to let the baby know, you can't stay here, in here, all the time. You got to get out. You got to grow. You got to make an impact. You got to speak. You got to cry. You got to walk. For we know the whole creation groans. And not only they, verse 23, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body. Does anybody want to get out of this place and just be with Jesus? 
Let's be with Jesus. I was praying the other day, the last three days, in fact, and I was a little concerned when I read the book of Revelation that there was no face-to-face conversation with the Lord in His glorified body. And I, I just began, I go, I almost text somebody and said, I said, Lord, Lord we're not going to talk. I know we're going to talk mentally because that's, if you ever had an angelic encounter, that's, that's how the communication is. It's not, it's not audible. And I said, but if in your glorified body, I want to talk to you. There was a little concern, and I go, my God, it would be such a great disappointment, Lord, if that's not possible. It it got to the place where actually I I wept. I wept, and I go, go, God. Because I look, I look. I read the whole book of Revelation, and I, John was not conversing with him. And then other thoughts, other scriptures. Well, he, he talks to you by your conscience. He, he died for you. You think he's not going to talk? But he's going to be in Jerusalem sitting on the throne of David, the Bible says, to rule a thousand years. We're going to rule and reign with him. And so, meaning he limits himself in that glorified body. That's the kind of talking I'm talking about. Talking to that, the one on the throne that, I don't know about you, I actually ask, I don't even want to talk, and I just climb on your lap. Is that all right? I just want to hug. Can I hug you? Can I feel you with my own glorified body that you're going to give me? I don't know if that's too far out for you, but that, that's someone I'm looking for. That, that's some, I'm thinking about that. I want that. Does anybody want that? It's not about being saved. It's not about even going to heaven. It's not about even your petty problems down here. I, I want to see him. I, I want to really see him. I want to see how he looks. I, I want to... I just want to have a conversation. I don't even know what's going to be said, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of crying, a lot of gratefulness, a lot of thankfulness. But the truth of the matter is, you could live like that down here right now if you want to. You didn't hear me. I said you could live like that down here right now you have a choice you could either be just imprisoned by your own mind in this limited dimension of physics or you could transcend in your spirit and even now climb up on his lap and have a conversation with him have an intimate discussion about your life why don't you have an intimate discussion with him about your life the Bible says he is touched by the feelings of our infirmities. He, re- he can relate even though he's God. He knows. He actually wants to have that conversation. I know it's not face to face, but you can have that conversation right now. Just, just begin to talk. Just begin to talk. You know what that does? It recalibrates your spirit. You'll stop complaining and you'll stop being grateful. You'll stop counting your blessings like that song in Sunday school and you name them one by one. You count your blessings and you begin to worship. You begin to worship. You begin to praise. It just refocuses your life down here. And it just makes you content grateful and happy for we are saved by hope but hope that is seen is not hope for what a man seeth why does he yet hope for but if we hope for what we see not then we do it with patience 
we wait for it. Likewise, the Spirit also helps our infirmities, limitations, sinfulness. For we know not what we should pray for as we should, but the Spirit inside of us, it makes intercession for us with groanings when you can't articulate with English or Spanish or whatever your tongue is. Talking to God. Having a conversation. And while you do that, He searches the hearts. Because he knows what is the mind of the Spirit. Because he's making intercession for you according to the will of God. As you're praying, there's also always a caveat, not my will. Lord, I want this. I'm hoping for this. But not my will, Lord. And so whatever happens, you go, thank you, Jesus. This is your will. Because I prayed, God, not my will. Not what I desire. It doesn't matter what costs you. Amen. If it costs you money, time, friends, whatever it may be, it doesn't matter. Just walk in the will of God because there's grace there and there's peace there. That's how Paul started the letter to you and I. And then you get to verse 28. And we know all things work together for the good. To them that love God, because as you live that way, you're really becoming and entering into this dimension of just loving God all day long. I'm not there yet. You just love Him. And it's not your will anymore, so it's His purpose and the calling that He places in your life. And then you could be assured it's going to work out. Oh, yeah, it will. It's going to work out. I don't have to worry. I said, I don't have to worry. You don't have to worry. It's going to work out for the good. And there's only one that's good. That's God. It's going to work out for God's good. And if it's God's good, it's good for us, his children, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody begin to believe that right now. Just read that whole chapter and just live that out. It will change you. People will not recognize you. You'll be happier. You won't be a burden to anybody. In fact, you'll help people in Jesus' name. And then in, in your own time in verse 29, you, you read about God predestined, predestined. You're being predestined because you have a place in him from the foundation of the world. You have a place in him. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Somebody thank the Lord right now one more time. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sister Keisha, would you come? You may be seated if you want. Amen. The Lord is truly grateful. Amen. Full of greatness. Amen. Good morning, church. I'm, I'm half awake because I came from work, but I thought I had nothing to say. But then in the beginning of the service, there's a heaviness that God put in me. I felt like there's a lot of sufferings in this, um, a burden, a lot of burden in this church now that we're feeling. And it's really heavy. I know... And I know God, I have nothing to say, but God has something to say. And he put this verse in my, in my heart. It's in James 5, verse 13. He says there, Is any among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing psalms. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord and the prayer of faith will save the sick and the prayer of the Lord will raise him up and if he has committed sins he will be forgiven confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. 
Elijah was a man with a nature like ours, and he prayed earnestly that it would not rain. And it did not rain on the land for three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth produced its fruit. So I just want to encourage you, if you're suffering, do, do not run away from God. Instead, go to Him. Like, come to Him. Because, you know, because you know how some some Christians they fall away, they drifted away because they they look at God as a genie or like a Santa Claus. If you come to God with a wrong intention, it's so easy to fall away, church. It's so easy to run to the world and go back there again. But there's nothing in there. We there's nothing in there that can help us, that can satisfy us. So if you're here right now, if you're here. Take comfort that God knows your suffering. God knows what you need. And your body, we have you have a church body that prays for you. If you have if you're suffering, don't run away. Text each of us or even just our pastor or sister Debbie. Because it's here, it says here in the word that if you're sick, if you're suffering, you don't need you don't need sympathy from, from people outside. You need your church, you need your body, you need your leaders to pray for you, to anoint you, to give you encouragement. So so it's not it's not there's no there's we're not gonna judge you. There's something there's always someone here that God will use for you to give you words of encouragement. And even though God doesn't answer your prayer right now, just strengthen your faith because like those people in the Bible, they've always they've always suffered so long and so hard that at the end of the tunnel they even Noah even Noah says he, they saw a rainbow after the 40, 40 days of flood. And even Jonah, even though he didn't want to do the will of God, even though he suffered three days in the whale, he, at the end, it, even though it didn't benefit him, but it benefited the people of Nineveh that they, they, they have saved. So I just want to encourage you that, that don't run away from God. If you are suffering, just pray. Because prayer does everything. You think there's nothing that it can do at the moment. It might not be happening right now. You might be, see, be able to see it in a few days or next week or next year. But your prayers are all stored in God. And like what God said, our, our prayers are like... Um, it's like a scent that goes into him that he always remembers it that's why you're all here today because he remembers you he knows you by birth because he needed you in your mother's womb and he loves you so much in Jesus name thank you Jesus if we can just all stand up and pray if you want also if God is giving you a burden to pray for someone you can also pray next to them Lord God Jesus, we cast to you, Lord God, every burden of this church, Lord God, every suffering, Lord God, every soul, Lord God Jesus, that needs you, Lord God. We give you, Lord God, everything, Lord God, our emotions, Lord God, our hearts, Lord Jesus, all our mind, Lord God, we give to you, Lord God, for you are the God of hope. You are the God of glory, that even though, Lord God Jesus, no matter what the world gives us, Lord God, you are still the God of hope, the God of uh, the God of miracles, Lord God. You are the God of who is, who was, and who is to come, Lord God. And the gospel will prevail, Lord God, even up to the end, Lord God, Jesus, in the mighty name of the Lord. Strengthen your body, Lord God. I grant you, Lord Jesus, to 
give them the gift of faith, Lord God, the gift of deliverance and healing, Lord God, and all the other things, Lord God. Open the windows of heaven, Lord God. Allow God to Shiska, Allow God to Shiska, Allow God to Shiska, Allow God to Shiska. Thank you for the healing you brought in our hearts, Lord God, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, and we claim every miracle, Lord God, every word that has been spoken, Lord God, that it will bring life and peace and joy to your body, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Church, as we bring in our tithes and offering, let's come boldly to the throne of grace. That He will, he, God will never give up on us, and His mercy is gonna renew, is gonna renew every morning. There is still hope, church. So do not give up. Praise God! Would you come? Would you worship? Would you giving? In the name of Jesus, bringing in the sheaves, the Bible says, with joy. With joy shall we draw waters out of the wells of salvation. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to encourage you to keep praying for many, many needs. And some of them are helping, wanting to help uh, the ch a church in particular in the Philippines and, and a person also that, that needs help. Amen. There's a lot of needs over there. There's a typhoon that came through. So the church in Japan was going to have a potluck yesterday because yesterday was their Sunday. And they had to postpone that because of the typhoon that, I guess, directly hits Japan. But there's a lot of rain in that general area, including the nation of the Philippines. Amen. So, so even as you give in, in, in your generosity and most of all in your obedience to the Word of God in your tithe, which is a tenth of your increase, your income, that makes you honest before God. Amen. And those of you that went through discipleship class, you, you'll know that, that it's honesty because Malachi chapter 3, I don't know if we have that, brother Al, it talks about robbing God. And there's no thief that's going to go to heaven. Amen? Is that a fair statement that... You know, it says, bring you all the tithes to the storehouse. You may meet in my house, proving out with... And then next verse, and go to the next verse. Will any man rob God? He says, yet you have robbed me. There's a curse to it in verse 10. Then it talks about the tithe and the offering. Amen. I surely don't want to miss heaven because of money. Amen. You can make more money. Money is easy. Praise God. Hallelujah. Tomorrow, which, uh, excuse me, 17th Connect Group at the Lake Forest, Multicultural Connect Group. Wednesday's Labors and Training. Thursday's Prayer right here. Then the 20th, 
is the church bonfire. Amen. And uh, I hope that's the right address right there. I just copied it from last year, but you'll find us anyway, right? Uh, just just connect with somebody, share a location, what have you, and, and the Lord will do the rest. Keep in prayer, Brenda Park service next Sunday, the 22nd, in Jesus' name. And then the last Sunday of the month, we are focusing on the end time events. And I want to encourage you as the election comes closer and closer that you pray for our nation because we need prayer in Jesus' name. We need prayer. The Bible talks about the gift of faith. You know, I'm thinking about how God deals with people and how God speaks to us as his children. And if you look at the Bible, he, he speaks to us or he spoke to, in general, mankind with the conscience at first. Right? So there was the age of innocence. I don't know if you believe in dispensations or not, but there's definitely divisions in the Bible. You got to rightly divide the word of God. Amen? And so he spoke, he, he dealt with Adam and Eve. They were the only one in that dispensation of innocence. And in every dispensation, there is a command given. And there's a time given. And then it's judgment. So in, in the age of innocence, the command was simple. You could eat anything but the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. That was it. Then you know the story that is obeyed, and there was judgment. And the second dispensation is conscience. And if you look up con the word conscience in the New Testament, it's mentioned a, a few times. And it, it basically, your conscience, one of the meaning is it's a co-perception between you and God. So your conscience, when it's active, it will actually... Your, your conscience prohibits you from being dishonest, right? Of killing somebody, robbing a bank, 7-Eleven, your neighbor, picking their pocket, taking their iPad, amen, and so on. That's your conscience. And then after that, there's the Word of God that speaks to us that gives us direction. Then there's the rhema, and thank God Sister Rhema is here or was here. Amen. And there's a, that, that's, that comes with the still, small voice of the Lord. But there's, there's voices that speak to you. God, it, number one, it's your spirit, God's spirit that activates your conscience. Then your will also talks to you, Right? Well, I don't really want to do this because if I do this, then X, Y, C might happen. Well, I, I don't really believe this because you know, so your will talks and also the Word of God talks to you as you read it. And then along with the Word of God, there's the rhema or the spoken word that you hear in your spirit. And then the world also talks to you. Well, I... I can't be there because it's my, you know, I don't know, birthday, anniversary, or it's my funeral. I won't be there. <laughs> and all of this is activated really by the gift of faith so we could understand what the will of God is. Because when you begin to pray and the more God answers your prayer, then gives you direction really for what the right prayer is and the wrong prayer is. So, the gift of faith, the gift of faith. I don't have a message today. I don't know. I guess you could put the title out. I don't know. That would be it. 
that would be very, very accurate. But there is faith, and I'm looking at my notes here. Here we go. Mark 16, 17 to 18, and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast out devils, you know this, and they shall speak with new tongues. How many are thankful you spoke with new tongues? How many are thankful you spoke with new tongues? Right? I think this happens all the time. What you spoke is always new. Spoke with new tongues, they shall take up serpents. You could, if you want to, but if you do in the will of God, it will not harm you. Drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt you. You shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. And it's in Corinthians, Al, the gift of faith. But the word faith is interchanged many times with, with believing, calling, or a sign. These signs shall follow them that, that believe. And it's a progression. First, God deals with you and I with with a need that we have. And then so we go to Him, we pray, we ask God, would you meet this need? And God does it. Amen. Just like for our dear sister, Rama, she was healed. Amen. She was healed. She said she was taking oxygen every day, and that's not happening now. That she had a bad back for a long time. That That's not hurting now. And she's got other needs. But would you pray for her right now in the name of Jesus, guys? Would you just pray for her in Jesus' name? Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lo kandara na kandala boko sata la bahai. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We pray, God, for that gift of faith, O oh Lord, to happen in her, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Sister Rayma, is there something specific that you need? You're back. Amen. Somebody lay hands on her right now in Jesus' name. God is going to meet that need. The Lord is going to meet that need. Everybody that has faith, would you begin to believe right now? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody begin to believe in Jesus' name. Father, we activate through your spirit the gift of faith in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Lord, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. As soon as you feel that answer, Sister Raymond, why don't you just begin to worship the Lord and begin to thank God for what He is doing in your body right now. The gift of faith, oh God, I release it upon your people in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ask her somebody if she noticed something different in the name of the Lord. And give God glory. And give God praise. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Just be in the spirit of prayer. God's going to do something. Amazing here today, in the name of Jesus, amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sister Sheila, the Lord just has his attention on you, and I feel like if you would just express what you believe in the microphone or even praying for, 
hoping for. And God's going to do something great today. I don't want to put you in this spot, but you would just speak it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Jesus. So, church, um, I want to ask for your prayers. Um, I believe the Lord will... Uh, so we have a family member that I've been praying for. It's very, very dear to my my heart. It's been a burden. It's been a burden. She grew up in church. You know, the devil, they like to take those people who have, you know, faith, bigger faith. So I believe the Lord will touch her heart, bring her back again to church. She really lost her way. And if it's just me, I can't bring her back. I can't. Not my will. It's in God's will. You know, I battle with the devil every day. Just so she can be safe, you know, and be remain in God's hand. really hard because and it's your child you know you don't you do everything there's no limit even though people say just but that's your child if the Lord forgives us so many times with no question we're only people, you know. There's no limit to forgiveness. If the Lord can forgive us, who are we not to forgive people who wronged us? Yeah. Sometimes all people want is be loved and feel loved. I believe that. Everyone wants to be loved everyone even those who made mistakes I ask the Lord every day <laughs> somebody begin to pray with our dear sister right now we begin to pray for her daughter even the whole family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus I andar andar a motor I andar la basaye Say In the name of Jesus Even the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I andar andar a motor I andar la mahaya na katala mahaya I andar na mo kotori andala maya na katala maya na kasalai. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We believe it, Lord. We believe it, God. You are at work, Father. You are at work, Father. Even when we don't see it, God, you're working. Even when you don't feel it with our physical senses, you're working. You never stop, oh Lord. You love still, and you're reaching still. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, would you pray together right now? Would you in, be in tune with the Holy Ghost that's moving in this house? We are a body. We are interceding together. We are praying together. When one hurts, everybody hurts. When one has a need, it's all of our needs in the name of Jesus. Would you thank the Lord in Jesus' name? Would you worship the Lord? 
Hallelujah. Praise God. Would you thank the Lord sincerely right now in Jesus' name? How many believe that God has heard that prayer? There's a witness in the spirit. There is a witness. There's a spotlight from heaven upon all of you today. And God wants to let you know that he hears. He answers. He answers. He answers. He answers. Thank you, Lord. The gift of faith. Somebody receive the gift of faith right now. Somebody desire the gift of faith. The supernatural ability to believe. Somebody begin to receive the gift of faith. The supernatural ability ability to believe in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, hallelujah, the gift of faith. This is what it means to believe to the extent of complete trust and reliance. To believe to the extent of complete trust and reliance. To believe in, to have confidence in, to have faith in. And that's in Jesus Christ, to trust, faith, trust. I believe as we voice out prayers, God's going to give you the gift of faith. He's going to give you the gift of faith. I'm just going to follow the Holy Ghost. And I don't want you to fear. I want you to have the gift of faith and just in the presence of God's people, in the presence of God and the angels that is here. I just showed up on both sides of the wall. If you voice it out in faith, with the gift of faith, God is doing something right now. He is doing something. He a gift of faith, the supernatural ability to just simply trust, to have confidence in Him. As faithful as He who has promised. In Jesus' name. Sister Evelyn, I don't want to put you in this spot, but just God is just wanting you to express what I and I no more. Go ahead, Sister Evelyn, make your request known unto the Lord. Express that prayer in Jesus' name.
I just have this burden. <laughs> Hallelujah. I've been trying to reach out for my family. I know that it's in God's timing. Hallelujah. But the Lord is working. Hallelujah. Like what, the, what we sang earlier. Even though we don't see it, it's working. Even though we don't feel it's working. He never stopped working. He never stopped working. We should not give up. Hallelujah, we need to cast out the lies of the devils. <laughs> Trying to put you down. Giving you some negative thoughts. But the Lord is greater. Greater is he that is in us than in us in the world. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church. Don't give up. Pray for our loved ones. <laughs> our co-workers. Hallelujah. Even though they will not pay attention to us. Just plant the seed of faith. Just plant the seed of faith and we know that the Lord will water it in due time. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord is so good. Yes. Yes. He is a way maker. I've been claiming the miracle. Every promise in the Bible is mine and we can always say that to ourselves. Amen. Hallelujah. That he is our provider no matter what. He is our strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I give all the praise and glory. Somebody begin to believe right now. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody begin to give thanks right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Claim your miracle no matter what. In the name of Jesus Christ. Claim your miracle. Claim every promise in the Bible is ours. It's mine. It's yours. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Somebody thank the Lord. Would you do that? Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yo kandaranamakata sata lamahai. If you express expressing a need, God's gonna meet it. He's gonna meet it. Sister Lorraine, is that okay? If you express that need? I have a burden. My burden is also a family member. She's my daughter. I pray there's not a moment I think that I, the burden is so great that I, I pray when I wash dishes, <laughs> when I'm just brushing my hair. It doesn't matter, you know, that burden is just so big. And that burden grows not only to my daughter, but to every soul that's going through that. That burden is someone that's going through anxiety, depression, that leads to thoughts of suicide. Or just feel so helpless and there's church, there's a lot of 
darkness to that pool. And we need to pray more as a church so these souls could be saved, so they could see the light amongst all the darkness that these souls are going through. They could see the light, the light of our Lord Jesus to get to the we, so they could see this light and be guided by him, not by what's pulling them away from him. And our prayers are like so many times I have, they're just so powerful. They're, they're the rivers of living water that just pour into these souls by, by our faith by our love and our faith and trust in God and our hope that they will be saved no matter what because we trust in our Lord that he is working and he is going to do it. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because you almighty, Lord Jesus, you listen to our prayers. Somebody begin to pray Listen right now in the name of, of Jesus. Our church, oh Lord, our every need, Lord Jesus, that you are working. You are working, Lord Jesus, because you're almighty and you say your words. Trusting you. Every family, oh God. That you, oh Lord Jesus, every need, oh God. You in the are name of Jesus, to them, or Lord Jesus, no matter in the what name is the of pool, Jesus. Lord, you are there with them. Yo, you are carrying them. You are carrying our Lord. children, Lord, Lord Jesus. Our God. Our family members. There's extended our, families, oh Lord. Soul I claim Would you begin to you, pray for Lord your Lord families Jesus, right now? Earth and Sister Lorraine's family in particular, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I release the gift of faith. I release the gift of faith, oh God. I release the gift of faith, oh Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Somebody thank God right now in Jesus' name. Now you feel a witness in the spirit that God hears. And God hears. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Sister Leanne, do you want to say something? In the name of Jesus. I pray for my brother and sister. Especially my brother. Even the mention of Bible creation, he doesn't want to hear it. <clears throat> I try to ask them to join a connect group or a church they don't want to join. So I pray for them and but I pray to God that. <clears throat> That I can't do it on my own, but I know I can. So um, I ask the church to please pray for them. It's hard to talk to them like they messed up because they don't want to hear me. Jesus, we 
Hallelujah. Let's pray for Chini right now, Wayne, and the whole David family. Father, you have not forgotten about them, Lord. You have not forgotten about them. Lord, you said, you said if they would express it, God, that you were going to do something. You said, Lord, if they were going to express it, they will do something. Come on, men, in Jesus' name. The ladies that have expressed a need. If all the men in this house will begin to cover them and form a wall of faith, even the gift of faith in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You said, oh Lord, if they would express it, that you would do it, oh God. You would do it, and I believe it. I believe it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody thank God right now in Jesus' name. Just thank him in Jesus' name. We're going to worship him. Believing, trusting that he is doing something right now. Right now, you're doing something. We thank you, O King. We thank you, O God. We thank you, O God. We thank you, O God. In Jesus' name. You want to say something, Kish? Or Kathy? Either one of you. In Jesus' name. Um. Sorry, I've been crying a lot today. God is doing good. I, I believe that. And I've been I've been stressed lately with my brother. If you don't know my brother is Casey, he's the one who um brought us God used him to brought us here to church, me and my family. It's been so heavy because like Mr. Um every day I'm battling in prayer for his salvation, for him to come back to God because he's the one. The devil is a liar, and I know he cannot get a hold of my brother. I believe in that in Jesus' name. And I know God spoke a word to him, but many, many words from all the prophets that came here in church, and I always declare that in my prayer, and I believe that. That he will draw him and he, will, he God will use his testimony in Jesus' name. And I also, I also want, God is also giving my brother to pray for Sister Reba. I know God has not done yet. I know what he started in you, he's got to finish it. And God loves you so much. He can see your heart. You are so hungry for him. And he sees that. God will show you that anything is possible. In the name of Jesus, somebody begin to believe. Somebody begin to pray. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, yo rikanda rana kanda rana makatala mahaya nata saye. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that you would bring him, God, even the whole family, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. I don't know why the Lord's doing it this way, but we follow Him. He said, ladies only. I'm like, okay. I, 
if, if you would, I want to ask all the women to stand and come to the front right here. Just line up as close as you can to the altar. And then as the women come, I want the men that have faith in God, that whatever they're asking, expressing in prayer, that God would answer it. I want you to come behind them and just form a wall. Come close, if you would, as close as you can to the front. And just form one line, if that's possible, in Jesus' name. I believe God's going to do a miracle here in Jesus' name. And you believe that. God's going to do a miracle in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Faith. Faith is interchanged with the word believe. Faith is interchanged with the word trust. Faith is interchanged with the word reliance, to believe in, to have confidence in. Would you pray right now? In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Men, would you pray behind them and form a wall? Imandarana kota ne ele shate and asa. Imandarana mokoto rane ele sa na na sa. Iandara la mokoto rianda la batale ene kete sa. Lo roto randa la boto. Ikandarana la mokoto randa la mokoto randa la boto. It's not your faith, but it's God's faith. God's faith in you. It is the gift of faith that's flowing through you right now. Just give yourself to it. Miracles are happening. Miracles are happening. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Let it be so according to your instructions, O oh God. Let it be so, Lord, according to the leading of your spirit, O oh God. Let it be so as you've said, O oh God, as they express it here in the house of the Lord. You're going to send your angels. You're going to release your word. But the answers to it. We are fully persuaded. We fully believe. We are fully persuaded, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yay! Yay! In the name of the Lord Jesus. Don't pray in your mind, pray in the spirit. Don't pray with your intellect, pray as God gives you the words. As you even as you speak in tongues in the name, praying in the spirit, praying in another language in the name of Jesus Christ. Lo randa lo rakea no asaye in the name of Jesus. Yorobotalamandala, we feel a witness, so God, in the spirit. Can you feel a witness in the spirit? Can you feel the witness of the Holy Ghost? Your prayers ascending to his throne. Alabatana nede kendere bokotori andalabate. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord, I lose your angels. I lose, O oh Lord, the seal of the Lord upon our prayers not to be diminished or stolen from. 
Lord, but every prayer expressed, oh God, you would seal it, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I give you glory, oh God. I give you praise. I thank you. I worship you. You're a good God. You're a great God, the only Savior, the only wise God. To you, oh Lord, be glory forever, oh King. I worship you, Jesus. Thank you for being so kind, being so good. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you, O King. Thank you, O God. Thank you, O God. I worship you. I praise you. Iyara la mono kondara na makatala mahai. Iyandara na boko tori anla la makatala mahai anakasatai. I lose the gift of healing, O God. I lose the working of miracles right here, right now, in your atmosphere, O Lord of faith. I lose the gift of faith in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we bow to you, O Lord. Every tongue, O God. Confessing to you, Jesus, our Father. In Jesus' name, thank you, O Lord. Thank you, O Lord, for answering. Thank you, O Lord, for hearing. Thank you, O Lord, for being you. Thank you, O God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yora candara la 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 bocotto rondo rosso. Yara la 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 bocotto randa la bacata la bahaya. I lose wisdom, O God. I lose wisdom, O Lord. I lose knowledge, O God, in the name of Jesus. I lose wisdom. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Paul wrote in Galatians 2.20, I am crucified with Christ. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself 
for me. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. If you could get the Amplified, in Jesus' name, I am crucified with Christ. Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ. In him I have shared his crucifixion. It is no longer I who live. So we're dead. But Christ the Messiah lives in me. In the life I now live in the body, I live by faith by adherence to and reliance on and complete trust in the Son. Can you put that in one slide if, it, if that's possible? So the faith that we live in is not our faith. I live by the faith of the Son of God. So it's the Son of God's faith. And you know who that is, right? Somebody shout his name. So we are living not by our own faith, but by the faith of the Son of God, having adherence to and reliance on and complete trust in the Son of God because He loves you and He gave Himself for you. So one more time, would you just begin to seek after God's faith in you? Not your faith. Our faith is not adequate. The gift of faith. The faith of the Son of God who loves you, gave himself for you. Come on, in the name of Jesus. It's the key to the answers to prayers that's the will of God. The gift of faith when you witness to somebody, when you teach them the word that is spiritually discerned. When things seem impossible, don't rely on your faith. Father, I receive the gift of faith. I receive the gift of faith to be activated in me that the words I speak no longer will be my own, O oh God, but it will be your faith active in me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I release it upon us. I may believe that it's been released upon you. It's been released upon you, the gift of faith. There is no greater miracle when somebody believes the gospel. When you witness to them, they see it. Repentance, baptism in Jesus' name, the infilling of the Holy Ghost, belief in one God, believing that we're going to be raptured out of here, believing that our body is going to be glorified one day. It takes the gift of faith. It takes the gift of faith. Yoro koto la mana sa hana kondoro koto sa. Yori andara na yana kandala vakasata la baha. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. If somebody could come up to the piano, I don't know if we're going to sing or not, but Sister Chica, would you come and would you pray over this congregation? I don't know if it's a dismissal prayer, but a prayer nonetheless, in the name of Jesus. God's love is here in the house, amen. His love activates our faith. The revelation of his love upon you will activate your trust in him. Knowing, believing that he loves you. That when you're hurting and going through hard times, that he still loves you. In fact, he loves you very, very much because he knows what sorrow is. He knows what pain is. 
but he wants us to believe that he loves us every single time. At times he allows us to go in that hard times of suffering so that his love can rest upon us because that love heals but also that love brings faith so that the power of God can flow through you church it is for you each and every one of you have that power because it comes from his love he's the source as you receive that love I thank God for the love of, of his love upon me every day say God thank you for your love say that thank you for loving me thank you for loving me even in the hardest times Right? Sister Ruth Ann, right? Sister Annette, right? Even in the hardest time, Sister Jocelyn, right? You could feel that surge of the Holy Ghost. Whenever you feel down, you could say, Oh God, you have me. Amen? You have me. You have me. When I don't have the answers, you have me. I can trust because you love me. You love me in Jesus' name. And I want to encourage you to know you have that. You have that because his love is also hope. Trusting in you gives him hope that what? Tomorrow's going to be okay. That's what hope says tomorrow is going to be. Why? Because his life is in, your life is in his hands. Every part of it, every part of it. I, I'm sorry, Pastor, you told me to pray, but the, the, I, just, I just feel the rhema flowing. And, and, and my dear sister, when you shared your burden, and those of you that have a burden for your family, a few weeks ago, I was talking to a minister's wife. And her daughter was backslidden and came back to the Lord. Prayed through. But then a lie came from the enemy that she hanged on to. And she was deceived. And my sister would call me. I felt her pain. I felt her pain. Her daughter, she goes, my daughter. I'm losing my daughter. You know what? I prayed with her. I spoke the word upon her. God gives us that to speak faith. The love, the love, the faith is grounded in his love. And I said, my sister, I believe that God's going to set your daughter free. He provides for what's needed. I asked God, give me wisdom. Because there was a deception in the word of God that she believed in that seemed logical. And that's what the enemy does, tries to make it seem logical. And I went on the word of God. I asked my husband, I need an answer from God. And then when she, I called again, we spoke, I gave her the word, no, that's a lie. You know, you speak this upon your daughter. And it just it took, took, took some time praying, interceding. And then one day, she was given up. My friend was given up. I said, I know you're tired. I know you're tired. But God is with you. We're here to minister to one another. Keisha, you were ministering. You go with the flow. 
God is faithful. God is faithful. I told her, no. I speak strength upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, I speak the grace of God upon your spirit. I believe that God loved her. And so when I spoke it, I believed that she was going to be strong. And she was in the name of Jesus. And we, we bound things in the spirit. We spoke. I spoke faith upon her. And then I brought her back to the word. And I, and I asked her, why? What's wrong? I'm, I'm, I think I think she is going to going to lose it because I th she she was believing the lie too. God gives us the wisdom, God gives the power, the grace. And then this is all on my phone because we were driving to a conference and then the reign of God, he's faithful. He's faithful. His love is faithful. I just text I said that's a lie and I God God just gave the thought, the verse. And then quickly she said I receive it. And then the next day, I called, how are you doing? <laughs> she said, my daughter believes that lo God loves her, that God has forgiven her. <laughs> and then the next week, I said, how she's doing? She's heading in the right direction now. Now she wants God. Now she doesn't believe in the lie anymore. God is able, church. God is able. God gives us the grace. God gives us, can I tell you that? He gives us the strength. He gives us the wisdom. He gives you the wisdom. He gives you the faith to pray, to speak the word of God. God is able in any, every situation. Amen. And Sister Jocelyn, he's faithful to give you the rest. That burden is not for you to carry. Amen. Sister Mila, that burden is not for you to carry. And you all are praying, right? You all are praying. We're here together. And, and God is able. God is able. I... I can we stand? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The spirit of prayer is here in the name of Jesus. That's right. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your body, O oh God, for the anointing you place upon your body, each one of them, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, I speak, O oh God. Lord, your gift of faith to flow, O oh God. The workings, O oh God, through your spirit, I declare it upon your body, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, Yora Ikayasha. Yoro, that's right. That's right. Some of you are receiving it right now. Yora Ikayasha. I come against every lying voice. In the name of Jesus, we come against the spirit of anxiety. We command it to leave in the name of Jesus. We command the spirit of suicide to leave in the name of Jesus. Every doubting voice we bind in the name Jesus, Yora Ikayasha, we come against every spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. Yora Ikayasha, come on, come on, pray, pray, you have that authority. Yora Ikayasha, Yora Ikayasha, Yoro Koisyara, you have it on you to pray. Liberty, I speak liberty. Spirit of pray through you. Yora isiara, yora kiyama isiara, yoro ikaya shaha, yora ikaya shaha, yoro isiara. Right now, I want you to pray and speak faith upon your family. Right now, upon your family, 
speak, pray in faith, declare the promises. You can do it in your dialect. You can do it in tongues, but do it in the name of Jesus right now. God is doing it right now. He's removing the hindrances in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That's right, Sister Keisha. He's doing it right now. Leanne, he's doing it right now. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Sister Mila, he's doing it right now. Yora Isiara. Galatians 2.20 If you could dial the Passion Translation We prayed You prayed really good It's ascended to heaven God, God wants to give us more understanding Because with this understanding The urgency what we're facing we have to feel that urgency we had we have to have the gift of faith so in Galatians 2 20 the passion translation <clears throat> again this emphasizes if you could put it in one slide if that's possible that it's not your faith someone say it's not my faith the Bible says if you have you have faith as small as a grain of mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, be removed, and it shall be removed. Another person says, Lord, I believe, help thou my own belief. And that's good. He says, those that minister, let them minister according to the proportion of faith. This is beyond that. This is not your faith. My old identity has been co-crucified with the Messiah. So I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, no longer lives for the nails of his cross crucified me with him. And now the essence of his, of this new life is no longer mine for the anointed one lives his life through me. We live in union as one. My new life is empowered by the faith of the Son of God. Do you have that? The Passion, passion Translation, my new life is empowered not by my faith, but by the faith of the Son of God who loves me so much that He gave Himself for me, then dispensing his life unto mine. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. In the life that I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith. It's the Son of God's faith. It's the gift of faith. The son of God's faith who loves you, cares for you. There's an urgency that we need to feel. Yesterday I got a, got a message from my sister who was adopted to, by my uncle in the Philippines that my, my nephew, 26 years old, passed away. Passed away in his sleep. He had aneurysm. Had a bright future. Had a great job. Just, just a good kid. Just very young. And of course, we were all sad and going to help out with the funeral expenses. This is Dana and Dylan's first cousin, and I just felt to share that with you. That there's an urgency. You don't have a promise of tomorrow. 
I said, you don't have tomorrow. You only have today. Some of you really need, you really need to believe that. And you need to start living your life like that. Because when you least expect it, God's going to call your number. And if there's something in your life more important than Him, that's not going to bode well. So, again, that scripture in Galatians 2.20, I am crucified with Christ. In the life that I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God. It's the Son of God's faith. Sister Chica, I'm going to ask you to pray again. To release the gift of faith upon the body of Christ. I live by faith of the Son of God. Because He loves me. How many of you desire to have that? Do you have the faith to receive it? Amen. If you have the desire, you have the faith. If you want that, raise your hands unto the Lord as a surrender. Amen. Thank you, Lord, oh God. In the name of Jesus, by the power of your name, by the authority of your word, I loose the gift of faith upon your body, oh God, to operate, to be activated, oh God, to be ready, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, receive the faith of the Son of God in you. We're in. You will believe through him. He's believing through you in the name of Jesus. Let your faith believe that. Declare it in the name of Jesus as you pray. It is upon you, Lord. I pray you're covering upon them, oh God. Let your signs follow, oh God. Let your signs follow your body. I speak liberty of the gift of faith to flow, oh God, as they pray, as they minister, Lord, that they shall see, oh God. They shall see your works, oh God. Your works, not our works. Your works, oh God, by their own eyes. By their own eyes, it shall happen in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, if you believe that, just praise God. Give him the glory if you believe it. For he's the one who's going to do it. He's the one who has given it to you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I worship you, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You may continue in the spirit of prayer as you like. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Whew, thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Thank you for the answers, oh God, that we shall see, oh God. 